actually, uh, the town has done very well with the uh, pipeline being here. But uh, I think it's a shame if he cancels it because uh, it's going to cost the Albertans a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And it's not just Albertans that it will cost. I mean, the, the purpose of the pipeline isn't just to give Albertans money. It's to secure energy independence in North America so that the United States can get off of oil from OPEC nations like Saudi Arabia. Um, how do you feel as a Canadian that our closest ally and trading partner has pulled the rug out from underneath us? Well, I, I don't think he's actually pulled the rug out because um, it's really not for sure what he is going to do. But it will be a shame if he doesn't take Canadian oil over overseas. Hey there, Kian Bexi for Rebel News, standing on the grave site of Keystone XL. This is the pipeline that President Joe Biden of the United States of America has canceled, despite it being already 10 feet in the ground below me. This pipeline has been worked on for years. Presidential permits have been signed by President Trump. And now, for some reason, Canada's closest trading partner, our closest ally, has stabbed us in the back. After a $1.5 billion investment from the Alberta government into TC Energy to get this pipeline across the border, it already actually did that. The two kilometer section across the Canadian US border, it's completed. But Joe Biden says now is the time to cancel this pipeline. Now it's not gonna change their oil consumption. It's not gonna change America's oil habit. They're just gonna get that oil from OPEC nations. That was the whole point of this pipeline, to secure energy independence in North America. But Joe Biden doesn't want that. He prefers trading with his pals from Iraq, the Middle East, Yemen. Joe Biden loves that kind of oil, but he doesn't love Canadian oil for some reason. It's not clear why exactly. Now, unfortunately for us here in Canada, our prime minister doesn't seem very interested in standing up for Alberta's interests. Although he says he's a supporter of the pipeline, it hasn't translated into any tangible action on the file. And the conservative opposition, someone who we would expect to pick up the slack from Justin Trudeau, Aaron O'Toole, he's been too busy today kicking out members of his own caucus because leftist extremists have told him to. Aaron O'Toole, the conservative leader, has also congratulated Joe Biden on his inauguration. They're all really excited about this inauguration because they all hated Donald Trump, despite the fact that he was the only one that was willing to provide Albertans with the thousands of jobs that this pipeline comes along with. It's also billions of dollars in tax revenue that Alberta and the Canadian government and also the American government would get throughout the lifetime of this pipeline. We're gonna go speak to those people who are losing their jobs, small business owners in the towns along this pipeline route, and maybe even workers on this pipeline. We're gonna go head into Oyen, Alberta, just a few kilometers that way, and see what they have to say about Canada's closest ally stabbing us in the back. So Joe Biden today uh, and over the past few months has signaled that he's going to be revoking the Keystone XL pipeline permit. So it's not going to be allowed to happen uh, anymore. That means the thousands of workers that have been here in Oyen probably are gonna be going home. Would you be able to tell us how that affects your small family owned business here in that town? Yeah, that would be really terrible news, I would think, and special during the COVID time. As the pipeline around here has really helped the business during the COVID time. So it's really sad to hear that news. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot, a lot of people will move out of town and a lot of people will think about the new jobs. Yeah. And the small town will be really, really quiet. How do you feel that Canada's closest ally has sort of turned their back it's on us? It's disappointing. I wish Biden um, had it just waited and maybe consulted with the Canadians and the Albertans to get uh, the clear picture of what how we are really doing the job. Mm -hmm. After Trump said yes, Biden comes in, says no. Do you feel stabbed in the back almost? Oh, yeah. Well, he, he should honor should honor Trump's word. Mm -hmm. It's just like a kid. This moment say yes, and that moment say no, and we game o game over. It's it's just can't make people make decision mm -hmm. how we how we our future will be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you, do you feel stabbed in the back at all? Yeah. I feel terrible. I think they shouldn't have done that. They uh, like like they need the oil. They're they're getting it from the uh, the Saudis and. Mm -hmm where they could get it from us. Actually, uh, the town has done very well with the uh, pipeline being here, but uh, I think it's a shame if he cancels it because uh, it's going to cost the Albertans a lot of money. Mm -hmm. 
And it, it's not just Albertans that it will cost. I mean, the, the purpose of the pipeline isn't just to give Albertans money, it's to secure energy independence in North America so that the United States can get off of oil from OPEC nations like Saudi Arabia. Um, how do you feel as a Canadian that our closest ally and trading partner has pulled the rug out from underneath us? Well, I, I don't think he's actually pulled the rug out because um, it's really not for sure what he is going to do. But it will be a shame if he doesn't take Canadian oil over overseas. The one thing that unites everyone right now is disappointment, sadness. I was here just a few months ago and they were very excited for Trump to win. They were hopeful that Trump would win this election because they knew that it would secure their own prosperity. Out here in Alberta, if it wasn't for him, there wouldn't be this pipeline, I don't think. Alberta is certainly on its own when Ottawa won't even stand up for our own. For Rebel News, on the Keystone XL pipeline route, I'm Kian Bexty. Thanks so much for tuning into Rebel News. We rely on your support to fund the work that we are doing here. If you go to rebelnewsstore.com and use the discount code key in 10, there's a whole bunch of cool swag and merch that you can get there. You can't get it anywhere else and it helps fund our operations. Unlike the Communist Broadcast Corporation, the CBC, Canadian Co Broadcast Corporation, we don't take money from the taxpayers. We rely on your support. If you go to rebelnewsstore.com, you can help us out.